Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to have a look at slow running iPads and not performing as you expect your iPad to do. Sometimes iPads just start running slow for various reasons and uh, I have some tips and tricks and areas that you should look into to uh, solve your issue. First of all, it is always a uh, recommended idea to have a restart or a soft reset of your iPad as I call it and for my iPad here it is the volume up volume down and holding down the power button and within a few seconds it should have a black screen uh, if I have been able to touch my buttons the right way and uh, it did and uh, now it is uh, restarting and it is resetting the memory and making sure that it has clear memory and a fresh start to uh, open up your apps and you can start using that. I see that uh, a lot of issues can be solved this way. It is easy, it is quick, so uh, always start by that. The next thing is uh, having a look at your apps. You can uh, over the time install a lot of apps and sometimes you forget that you have ad apps installed and uh, maybe it's time to clean up a bit uh, of which apps you have installed. You can of course go through your apps like this and see, okay, this app, oh, I don't really know that one anymore and I don't use it. Well, that's a good idea. If you want some more stats or information about which app uh, have recently been used and when it has been used, you can go into settings, go into general, and in here you have iPads storage. And uh, as you can see, all your apps is then in this list. And if you have a look at it, it also says last used. So here you can have some information about when was your apps last used. Uh, and of course you also have how much memory or how much storage is actually using. And that uh, gives me a small hint uh, on the next tip. And that is of course the storage on your iPad. Your iPad should always have at least two to three gigabytes of free data. Then it will perform the best way. So have a look at the top here, how much uh, free space do you have uh, in your storage and if you are close to the maximum or the running out of uh, storage then uh, have a look down here and see which apps are actually using the most storage and uh, maybe you can combine that with last used and uh, get rid of some of it you can also just clear the memory of uh, offload app as they call it in uh, Apple's products and uh, you just uh, say offload app and say offload app. Then it needs to be reinstalled and that is that now the, the app is not really installed on your the app uh, iPad anymore but uh, you can just click on the app in uh, in where you have it installed and then it will install again. You can also have a look at the documents and uh, data. And now I have, of course, offloaded that one, then it won't be easy to, but here you can see data, documents and data here, and you will be able to offload that as well. So have a look at your apps, uh, make sure to uninstall the apps you are not using anymore. And uh, that will, uh, for sure make uh, your iPad run a bit smoother. Then uh, the next one is having a look if you are up to date on your iOS version. So go into a software update up here and uh, go in and uh, check if you are up to date. As you can see, I have actually not installed the latest update from Apple. So that's always a good idea, Apple find errors and bugs in their software. So uh, they, uh, of course, uh, try to get rid of that. So with new versions of the iOS, they also get rid of apps and bugs that can cause 
your issue on your iPad or iPhone. So have a look at updating your software version. Next one is your browser. And uh, for a lot of users, they use this Safari browser. So if I go down here and find the app uh, installed, Safari browser, and uh, there you have a lot of different settings you can toggle on and off. But uh, at the bottom here, you have a clear history and website data. And uh, when you have used your iPad for browsing different websites and stuff like that, it actually saves cookies, pictures, and all kinds of crap on your iPad. And sometimes that can clutter up your uh, stories and your uh, performance can be uh, not running as smooth as you expect. So uh, give it a clear. I will do that right here. And uh, now you are good to go for your Safari. Have a look at that and uh, make sure that you do that once in a while. Then the next thing I would also have a look at is your internet. And uh, a lot of times issues with performance in browsers, apps or whatever is also dependent on your internet connection or your Wi-Fi at home. So uh, do a restart of your router if you're experiencing things like performance issues browsing whatever website or looking at Netflix uh, series or whatever movies you are looking at. So uh, I have a Google Wi-Fi here at home. So I have an app here where I can go in and say restart network and that will restart my router. So I will just do that. And within uh, 30 seconds or a minute, my uh, Network has been restarted and I have a fresh start on that one. So have a look at your router. Just plug out the uh, power cable and plug it in again and your router will restart and maybe you can actually fix your issue like that. Next one up is having a look at the location service. So go into settings again and you, you will need to find the privacy section, section down here. And uh, the first uh, section up here is the location services. And in here you have all your apps uh, that is using the location service. You can either go for one app at a time and decide if it is allowed to use the location service. But uh, if you are troubleshooting a performance issue, I would recommend you to just turn it off for a while and see if that can help your performance on your iPad. Next one up is also notifications. If you are having a lot of notifications popping up uh, all the time, that can also cause some of the issues. So you can either turn it off for all uh, apps or you can again go one by one app and turn it on and off as you like. So also have a, have a look at that if you are having issues. Last one up is doing a reset of your iPad. So if you go into general on the settings, go into reset and in here you have reset all settings. I will start with that one. Also try to perform a reset network settings. I have seen that work as well for slow performance on iPads. So try those two, reset all settings, reset network settings and see how that goes. That is always the last one I would recommend you to have a look at if you are still not having good performance after some of the other steps. So, so have a look at that. And the last remark I just want to have in here before I end is now I'm showing you my old iPad that is not performing as good as it should anymore because it's more than five years old. So uh, if you are having an old iPad and you are actually running uh, games like Roblox, uh, Igna all kinds of uh, games uh, you can install on an iPad. This iPad is not running uh, the Roblox app uh, game that good anymore. So uh, I bought a new one to have a better performance. The new one, of course, has more memory, have a better graphics uh, interface. Uh, so uh, that can also be the reason if you are running 
modern games on an old iPad that is more than four, five or four years old, then I would also maybe have a look at if it is time to replace your iPad. But uh, I know that is something that costs money. So, <clears throat> but just have it in mind that old iPads can have issues with especially games. So uh, that's all for me today. Hope you found something that could solve your problem. If you did, give me a subscribe and a like on the, on the video and I'll get back to you. Bye.